So if your bass sounds like this, but stops when you touch a piece of metal, like the bridge or the strings, then you've probably got grounding issues. Bright side is we can make some beats out of it, but it's very obnoxious, especially when you're on stage or you're trying to record and you need a quiet signal. This is not quiet. So we're gonna be using some copper shielding. We're gonna be taking apart the cavity. We're gonna shield the cavity. We're gonna shield the pick guard. And we're gonna see if that makes the ground hum a little bit better. Let's get to it. So we have the base all put back together. We shielded the pick guard and the cavity, and here's the moment of truth. Completely silent. So for $14 worth of shielding tape and 35 minutes of my day, we were able to make this base completely silent. That buzz is gone. I have to say though, I lived with that buzz for so long that I think I kind of miss it. Hello darkness, my old friend. Wait, no I don't. In fact, there were one or two recording sessions that I took this bass because it records really, really well, but I had to be very careful that I always had my hand on the string so that the engineer wasn't trying to track down where it was buzzing from. Now I don't have that problem and it's going to be much better for being in the studio or even live on stage. I don't have to constantly be touching the strings. So if you're having trouble with grounding issues, you might consider shielding the inside of your bass or taking it to somebody that can shield it for you. It was a pretty easy job and I'm glad I did it. As always, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.